Hello, this is Lady Panaz, and welcome to Renowned Explorers. More to explore. I've had this game for a while, and I've seen some other people cover it, so I was like, eh. Other people play it, but then, you know what? I said, I like the game, I enjoy the game, you enjoy listening to me talk. So let's do something we enjoy together. That's, you know... So there have been a few changes since the last time I played, so bear with me. I have played it, so some of my people are higher level than if I had just started this new. So I do have a little bit of knowledge, and I say a little bit because, like I said, things have changed since the last time I played. Now, like this thing here, a weekly... This is like a community challenge event. You know what this tells me? The devs are involved in their game. More to explore, which I think is a DLC. Again, more DLC. Well, this one I think has been solved. So that one's done. And nope, we're going to keep our profile. And we're going to do a new game. Now there are two different modes, okay? Discovery mode, you'll be able to retry wherever you lose, save, load, whatever you want. You'll reach new locations faster. Adventure mode, it's like the classic mode. It is the normal mode. You can't reload. Uh, if you lose the game, the game is over. The game automatically saves when you quit. So we're going to do the classic mode because we don't really want to... Well, we do. I don't know. You know what? We'll do discovery mode. We are not cheating, okay? But we will do um classic. That's what we'll do. What we'll do is we'll do classic. Not n normal mode. We, we I already know it. Okay, so we'll do classic. Okay, no cheating, cheating McCheater face. Select our crew. Now, being a female, I'm slightly sexist in the fact that I usually pick female characters, in, as you can tell. Okay, most of my female characters are unlocked. Most, not all. I did thought. Oh, I can't. She's not unlocked as a captain. Okay, these people are unlocked as a captain. That's why they have the pretty little gold star saying, I've played enough with this person to let them be captain. Ooh. I happen to like her. Okay. Now, let's see. Completing research papers will give you your study token a random implement. Bright scientist, age 25. Uh, as a balanced scientist with very high speech defense and no real weakness, aggression, devious, Rem recommended crew go aggression or devious with Dolores and Hecta. Okay, now we're going to select our crew member. You know what? I have not fought with her, so we're going to take her. She's a quick thinker. Again, aggressive, devious. She's from present day Turkey. And she is obsessed with gold. Dolores and Anna. Anna. Let's. Let's. Uh, let's see. I think they. Did she. Did they say Helga for her? Okay. And Dolores. So Dolores is the. Her. But she's a fighter. She's pretty good. Let's see. Friendly or aggressive? Friendly or aggressive? Aggressive or devious? Hmm. Let's see, what is she? Quick thinker athlete. So we're just missing pretty much the athlete. Hmm. 
aggressive or devious? Hmm. Let's see. I have never used. Let's, let's use somebody. Here we go. We're going to use Charles. Just so that we have, you know, fairness across the board. And we're going to start our adventure. Now, this game is interesting. And, you know, I usually play uh, simulation games. This one's kind of interesting. It's a step away from. Okay. I'm not going to go through the tutorial. So, you know, we're just going to go through it. All right. And I'll explain as we go. We have to get here to the Viking ship. Now, there is no timer, so I have a few minutes to explain some stuff. This is our food rations. We have seven. We can go seven spaces. Ooh. Now, each one of these is where we can go, obviously, right? Now, this one says if we go here, we have a chance of getting more food. Here, we have a chance of getting status. Status. Okay? Status is up here. You'll gain 8% of any status you know as renown. And renown is how we become famous. We want to become the most famous explorers. Okay? So, we are going to go here. Normally you would be excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruit trees. You take some time to restock your supplies. Ooh, we got three supplies. Although we can't go higher than seven. Okay. So let's go here. Now, everyone, is not everyone, occasionally they won't. But for the most part, you'll usually have something that you get to choose. You descend a hill and walk past a magnificent grave. You read the stone. Here lies Beowulf of Mecca, king of Mecca. Under his reign, the abbey of St. Peter was built. Beowulf met his end at the hands of King Egbert's army in 826 AD. Many, may St. Peter's watch over his soul. The grave of an old king, always in honor. And there we go. We got two to campaign. Each campaign token gives you 10 to 15 status. Let's see, let's go here. Hmm. The crew takes a little time to rest and have a picnic. That's when a classy looking man approaches you. Excuse me, can I try some of your gym balm with goat cheese? Sure, we can say no, we can say yes. Now. Everything that you do helps, either helps or hinders you in the game. Now we have Food Critic in the Entourage. And I will show you that when we... Oh, I can do this. That is that. A helper. This is what he... He's a lobbyist. He gives me plus one to two status from each campaign. So from now on, I will get an extra status. Let's see, we have four. Hmm. Now, if you look down on the bottom, it says natural cha challenge. An athlete, a naturalist, or a survivalist may be useful. We have a survivalist and a naturalist. So we're good. And there might be an encounter here. There will be an encounter later on. So let's go and, and get some... You encounter a group of Highlanders, sweaty and breathing heavy. One of them, who the others call Coach, speaks. Aye, there. We're the local rugby team, and you are trying to increase our stamina by jogging. We are about to do some tactical drills. Why don't you join us and show us what you got? Yeah, that was bad. Okay. This is your percentage of failing. And your percentage of succeeding, obviously. 31% chance to succeed. If you succeed, this is what we'll get. One campaign, one gold coin, one bonus campaign token. We have a 69% chance to fail. 
or we can cheer from a distance and we'll get one campaign. You know what? I gotta show you this. It's a... I swear it's ten squares. Oh! Oh. Ooh. This is the new thing, too. I did play when, with this. Okay, It's a campfire. You click on it. It gives you a story that you can tell. Okay? <clears throat> Resolve is your three chances. Pick a campfire story to tell. Uh, let's discard that. Uh, let's keep that. The crew spends the night opening and sharing stories about their past. Everyone is a little bit anxious to show how vulnerable they are at first, but everyone reacts very supportively. In the end, they all fit a bit feel a bit closer to each other. The night has strengthened the crew's resolve. Now I have four, so I can get knocked out. My crew can get knocked out four times in an encounter before it actually counts. There we go. Here we go. A note scribbled on a wooden slab. Anna picks it up and looks closely. The meaning seems to be very cryptic. You really, you don't really understand the writing. Ooh. We must be here to steal their puffins. Aw, I didn't want to waste my four on these dudes. <sighs> Anyways, okay, well, here's a fight. If we do it friendly, we don't get a bonus. If we do aggressive, we don't get a bonus. If we do it devious... We get an encounter token, which is anywhere from 15 to 20 gold and 10 to 15 status. Guess what we're going to do? Since, you know, I picked all sorts of devious people. We're going to do devious. Now, as you notice on the ground, there's a red line when I hover. That is where their attack will work. So let's back her up over here. And this yellow line that's on the ground... That's a healing springs, pretty much. Okay, her. Oh, nice. That's aggressive. Now that's devious. Attitude, devious. Power, 100% speech. Hit chance, 100%. Range, two tiles. Target becomes saddened. If it is negative, giving it a 25, negative 25% speech. Let's sadden this bad boy over here. Click and click. Oh, your arrows bend when they hit things. Okay. So that's one. He... We don't want aggressive. We want devious. So. Charles is going to go... I think here. Let's right click to move. And we're going to terrify this dude. Oh! <gasps> You are a creeper. And then we've got her, who we're going to move up. And again, she's going to terrify. I'm going to electrocute you. And he believes me, and he runs away. Now, and turn, it is their turn. And up here, what it does is it shows you um, if they're friendly or whatever, it it rotates. It's like rock, paper, scissors. That's the words I'm looking for. Okay. There you go. I left it on the screen for a few. Pause. Read. Continue. Tense. We haven't quite done devious. Everyone's kind of tense. So. End turn. It's their turn. They're going to come up. You have no sword. Or you do have a sword. And he fumbled, so there's no... Yeah. Okay. You are going to sadden him. And make him run away. Bendable arrow, go away. He's saddened beyond words. 
let us terrify. I'm going to electrocute you. Either I'm going to electrocute you or I enjoy being electrocuted. Either way, both are quite not nice. There we go. And there we go. Decisive victory. She gets a bonus now. That's something else that they added from way back. A decisive victory. She now gets plus five grit and plus two to speech. And then we leave. Yay! Very sensible. Let's see. Hmm. What do we want? You know what? Let's get an amulet. Which is right beyond there. Which we won't be able to get. Because we'll starve to death. So let's see. Charles got... We can level him. Now, since he is a dipl uh, diplomat and a survivalist, we can get him the survival tactic... The survival perk... Ta tracking. That's the word. Now, each one of these will give... And the diplomacy etiquette perk. Now... Each one of these will give a bonus over here. Let's see. Plus one to, sp to speech power, plus two to speech defense, or plus three to grit. Grit's 3% chance of evading an enemy's ability. So do we want to evade an ability? Probably since, you know. There we go. And we won't be able to get it. Because what will happen is we'll go here, here, here. We'll run out of food. <sighs> so no pretty Celtic bracelet for us. Or, ooh, we can do this. We'll lose one thing of food. And, woohoo! Marvelous brooch from the Viking Age. Such an elegant... Such elegant details. This is what's recommended. Uh, plus one to three, three from study. You know what? We'll we'll take it because you've recommended it. There we go. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I know. Onwards. Unfortunately, we had to lose one thing. <sighs> We find a Viking boat intact. We have to get closer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rivlex. He's the most familiar face, familiar French explorer. The crew is stopped by a familiar face. The French explorer Rivlex. The number one most promising explorer ranking. He laughs. Thank you, amateur. How very lucky you are to find this fine Viking boat just after me. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, the fellow explorers should help each other out, and I really need this treasure to affirm my number one position. Your help will not be forgotten. Well, maybe. This is our treasure. We found it. It seems my explanation wasn't very wasn't clear enough. Maybe my strong friend Tommy can explain the situation better. Well, I take the vessel. Tommy steps forward. Not all little spores. I need to explain you uh something. So here's the interesting one. Oh cool. He's impressed by my skill. He's emotionally hurt and leaves. Tommy thinks we're nice. We're gonna do aggressive because we want him impressed. And all of my people can do aggressive. So let's see. Charles, if you will, take him out, please. Fisticuffs. Nice. Anna. Anna, right? Yep. Anna. Prostov. Can you take him out, please? Ooh, tasered. You, my dear, 
go here. Oh wait, I don't need you to go there. With your bow and arrow, you can take dang near anybody out. So... And... Thump. I actually like her. And, and turn. Everybody's going to come forward. I wanted to stay in the regen position. Oh, oh. oh, he hit her. It's okay. She's got something for that. Watch. And what's this? Devious. Huh. Fist of Cuffs. I should hit him, but I'm probably going to hit him. Just so that we can get these guys out of the way. And we're going to end turn. This guy's going to come around. Ooh, both of them. And this is why I wanted to. Let's see. She can move here. Charles, is there anywhere else you can move? Mm, not really. I want you to attack him. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. Since she doesn't need to be right up on, we're going to move you there, move you there. No movements left. There we go. Hopefully he does not decide to go into the position that I just vacated. Yep, he does. See? One resolve. Let's see. What is her... Or we can do friendly. Hold on. Why won't... Okay. Okay, it's telling me I can't re revive her. Okay then. That's not what I wanted to do! Rat bastard. Okay then. Let's see. There's got to be... Oh, I forgot how to do this. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Completely missed it. And we're going to shoot you. Boink. And let's see. Can Charles make it all the way there to fisticuff you in the face? Fisticuff to the face. Good night. Nice. We won. Tommy is impressed by your skill. And this only lasts this exploration. You are strong. Pretty impressive. But now I have to go. You deserve this treasure map for your victory. Eh, bye. And he leaves following Rivalex, who already disappeared with the Viking ship. <sighs> hmm... We're going to go to a difficult reach to reach area. This is just what happens. You even when you win, you just get the, the treasure map. Boom, you got it. 
leprechaun. Ooh. Well then, I guess that's that. Okay, so the leprechaun recommended campaign. Uh, plus one campaign at the end of each expedition for each level of beguiler in your crew. Beguiler, we don't have one. Hmm. We'll do that for now. Back to London. We have explored the highlands. Where's my pen? Okay. There we go. This is all of our treasure that we gathered. Plus two resolve. And that puts us at number nine. And he's at number one. Magnificent job. The Board of Renowned Explorers, International Society is impressed. Now, we don't have to do the tutorial. We can carry more supplies. Ooh. Oopsie. And on that note, I'm going to say, this is Lady Panaz. Thank you for joining me for Renowned Explorers. I will see you next week. Tell me what you think. Is this a game that you've played? This was a game that you were kind of interested in playing? Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and as always, let your geek flag fly. <laughs>